I'm going to come around with this hand, and it's true he could hit me with the other hand, but we're assuming for the moment that he's not actively striking me. If he was actively striking me, I would go ahead and I'd cover here and maybe hit him and then trap that. And as soon as I trap that, I turn it over and I come up here and I get the wrist. So now I have the hand and the wrist. Then I'm going to turn my body so that I'm sideways to him. My elbow comes over his and then I drop my weight into my elbow. As he goes down, I follow him, follow him to the ground. Now the other side. So if he punches, cover here, or maybe give him a shot here, trap that hand, turn that over, and catch here. I pin that to my chest and it's gonna stay there the whole time, it's not coming off. I pin that to my chest, I bring my elbow over his. Now here's the tricky part. If I don't bring my elbow over far enough, he can bend his arm. If I bring it over too far, now his elbow's in my armpit, and it's just not as powerful. There is such a thing as an armpit arm bar where I drop my armpit onto his arm, but that doesn't allow me to use the leverage of my arm right here. So it may seem like a, a very finicky little thing, but with practice, uh, you find it very quickly. So I turn that over and I come over onto the elbow. If I wanted to break his arm, it would just be here. Bam! It would be a quick drop, boom, and that elbow is gonna snap. But if I don't want to break his arm, I maintain an even pressure and I follow him down. As he goes down, now right here, again, I could break the arm pretty easily. But if I'm just looking for control, I open this arm up and I fold his arm around my arm into what you could call a chicken wing or a type of hammer lock. And then to apply the lock, this is a shoulder lock. To apply the lock, I just lean my body over his head that way. I need to be careful in case he tries to roll and strike me with this arm. I'm ready. I block that. I wrap and I make my posture up right here. Now I'm locking the other one. I could release the one that's behind his back because I don't need it that much now that I have this one and I could strike here. Now Chris is just learning this. He has literally only done it once on each side just before I started this video. He's gonna try it. He almost broke my arm on the first one. It's very easy to hurt your partner with this lock. It's very tight, so be careful. He turns it over. He applies pressure with the elbow. He pins the hand to his chest. He follows me down. He locks up my shoulder up. Now, if I'm somehow able to roll here and strike with this arm, he'll block it and he'll wrap it. And out, tap, tap, tap. Now I'm completely locked up. I um, used to attend a keto class many years ago with um, a Korean former military officer named uh, Kim, Major Kim. And maybe because of his military background, all he, everything was a break with him. He never used locks as controls. So with him, it would just be, pow, it would just be a break, and then, so, you grab, boom, bang, right? It would just be a break, and then he would flow right into something else, so there were no controls. Military style. All right, this arm. He turns it over, he controls the wrist. Come in closer, Chris. Bring your knee right, in a, right, right up against me. Good. Now this is fairly tight here. Yes. Make sure your arm is extended all the way in here. Yeah. Oh, good. Yep. That's it. So that's your arm bar. Against any kind of a front body, grab your elbow arm bar either to break or to control. Um, practice that, pay a lot of attention to the direction in which the elbow is pointing. People's arms are different. If the arm doesn't get rolled over quite enough, you'll have to lock it in one direction. If it rolls over too much, you'll have to lock it in a different direction, so pay attention to that. 
All right, uh, please remember to subscribe, hit that round button right in the middle, right there. And if you want to see more, you can watch that video or that one. Thanks very much.